Hello everyone, let's talk about getting started in On One Effects. Here I am inside of Photo Raw and I'm on the Effects tab. If you're not familiar with Effects, it's a collection of over 30 different filters that you can stack in any order you want and just and mask them so you can apply great looks on top of your photo just like you would by placing filters over your camera. Now, it's incredibly powerful, but if what I just described sounds intimidating to you, I've got a couple ways to make it easier for you. So first, let me show you how you would normally add a filter. You would click on the Add Filter button, and you would get a list of all of the different filters that are included. You would just mouse over one to find one that you're interested in, and then select it to add it to your photo. But there's another cool way that you can get started. And if you're used to using another application, let's say you came from Adobe Lightroom Classic or from Capture One, and they kind of list everything that they can do in one list, you could make effects do the same thing. Now, keep in mind, effects has, like I said, over 30 different things it can do. So we don't list them all out. It would be a very long list of panes. But if there are certain panes that you use all the time, then you can use the starting point presets. So right here, you notice it's set to blank. That means when you open a photo, you won't see any filters automatically added. But there's some other options in here. There's On One Recommends. What this does is it puts in the most frequently used filters for you automatically. So if I select that, you'll see how it puts in a list of the most commonly used filters. And then all you do is you just select the ones you want to use by turning the little dot on. So let's say I want to add dynamic contrast. That's one of my favorite filters. And then maybe I want to make this black and white. And I'm just going to adjust the slider to get the best black and white rendition out of my photo. And then maybe I want to add a vignette to it. Well, there you go. That was pretty easy for me to just opt in to the filters that I was interested in. I just picked the three that I needed for my photo and added them. It's a great way to get started. Now, there's some other options in here, too. Like I mentioned, if you're coming from Lightroom Classic or from Capture One, there are options that will put in the same types of filters that they have in the order that they appear in the UI. Or an even more powerful option is you can use any of the presets that come with Photo Raw or On One Effects, including ones that you create. So you could create your own starting point presets. Let's say you want to use one for landscape photos and maybe one for portrait photos. You can create your own and just select it from the list and then it will pre-populate effects with just the ones that you're interested in. There's also a last used option, which is handy if you're working on a series of similar photos. When you open up a new photo, it will just use the same settings you used on the last photo for you. All right, there you go. That's how you can use starting points inside of effects. Thanks for watching.